Lemon Slice and Dice Gang. It's your boy Cardo back at it again with another video. Boy, it's a good day. Sun is out. Weather is beauty foul. Y'all better get outside. Well, I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know how the weather is where you at. But if it's a nice day, man, you better enjoy the weather while you can, man. Go for a walk in nature. Go outside. Be thankful that God gave us this beautiful creation to live in. You feel me? Let me say this real quick before I forget. I know some of y'all um, have seen me do the nature walks in some of my videos. If y'all want me to get back to doing the nature walks, I told y'all I would, but I need I need to know from y'all. If y'all really want me to go back to doing the nature walks while I talk my talk on these videos, put a one in the comments, the number one. Type the number one in the comments if you want me to get back on the nature walks. For some of y'all who don't know what the nature walks are, basically, instead of, you know, the camera facing me as I talk, I like walking in nature. So what I was doing was I was allowing you to see the trails, the beautiful trails, the beautiful scenery as I'm talking to you. You feel me? So that way, you know what I'm saying? We all get to see something nice, beautiful sights. You know what I mean? And I love just walking in nature. So I was just like, why not just bring Slice and Dice Gang with me? A lot of people was liking that, man. So again, if you want me to start them up again, put a one in the comments. Now, Slice and Dice Gang. Get the swords out. Every single video, y'all know we're going to be slicing and dicing with the scriptures. We always going to bring points back to the Father's truth. It's only right. Let's do something else. Boy, can't forget this step. Y'all know what's going on. Y'all should. If you don't, let me give you a hint. Let me let you know. You see, you woke up this morning, right? I woke up this morning. We all did. So since we all did, first and foremost, smash that like button. Hit that like button, right? But since he did that, it's like he didn't have to. You feel me? He did, though. He did. So let's. Thank the most high. Our almighty heavenly father. Why? For allowing us to be here. Today, you feel me? Let's be thankful, y'all. Now I gotta talk my talk. This is also part of the intro. Slice and dice gang. Y'all know what's going on. Get the sword sharpened up as I tell the possible newcomers. You might be tuning in for the first time. You ain't seen my face before. You ain't never heard of Slice and Dice Gang. It's possible you subscribe today. This is what I like to do. I like to let the possible new subscribers know what they in for if they make such a decision because I don't want to waste nobody's time. I don't want no confusion over here on Cardo TV. I feel like that's only fair. So just hear me out real quick. If you make that decision, that means you got to get yourself a sword too. If you don't have one already, got to get yourself a Bible. I prefer the KJV version. You can't be out here on Slice and Dice Gang and you ain't slicing and dicing. That's lacking. You know what I'm saying? Also, you ready to repent but not just today you want to make it a lifestyle you know obeying the most high gods he gave us law statutes and commandments y'all and we must obey them man you ready to be obedient the best way that you can you also ready to grow spiritually you want the spiritual growth which is the real blessing out here also you want your faith to stay strong but not just strong Big strong, 10 toes strong, standing on business strong. You know what I mean? That unwavering faith, never giving up all the way into the end, right? Also, you got gifts and talents. You're ready to continue using them, serving people. Well, what God gave you, you know, being that vessel. Making this world better, making this world more positive, being that light as God created us to be. You like that? You like what I was saying? If so, 
please stop playing these games come on over here and join slice and dice game bars welcome to cardo tv is lit now today i'm not gonna lie this one is really gonna be for the brothers the fellas the men you feel me ladies if you watching you can stay you may be able to get something from this too but i'm just being honest with you you know it's for the brothers now i want to let you know the importance of i want to start off by saying you got to get out of watching the corn guys you got to stop watching the corn that's a dangerous territory to be in and i know a lot of men, see, and women are struggling with watching corn. That sin right there, man, is one of the worst. It's one of the worst. Overall, sin is bad, and we should stay far away from it. But when it comes to that corn, man, it gets people stuck in that place, that dark place, man. That can be hard to get out of if you continue to do it. You feel me? You keep opening those doors. Just think about it, man. You watching other people do things together, do things to each other. That's just like if you was at home and you had two people on your couch and you over here whacking off to the people on your couch. It's the same thing, man. Just think about that. That's what you're doing. Now, a lot of people on YouTube be talking about how us men need to be on semen retention. Semen retention, right? What's semen retention? For some of y'all who may not know, it's basically when you are not releasing your seed. You know, no masturbating, none of that. But this is the thing, man. We are men. We're men. So it's normal. It's normal for us to have, you know, those certain thoughts, y'all. You know, you see them beautiful women out there. You want to approach, start to get excited a little bit. That's normal. We're men. So it's just like, I'm not condoning masturbation at all. I'm not condoning it at all. Because think about it. It's like, okay, you doing that, right? But let's just say you was doing it, but you was maybe looking at one female. You know what I'm saying? I'm not condoning this at all, man. Because the thing is, y'all, us brothers, we need women in our lives. We need a wife. That's the problem. We need a wife. So we can cancel all of that watching the corn. But it's just like with the semen retention, a lot of people make it seem like us brothers are supposed to stay on that for a long time. Nah, man. Nah. It, it tell us in scripture, get them swords out. God told us to be fruitful and multiply. Be fruitful and multiply. Also in the word, y'all, in the biblical days, men had multiple wives, right? Multiple wives. You want to talk about Jacob, right? Solomon? Multiple. Was God mad at them for having multiple wives? No, because he understands what a man needs. It's normal, y'all. I mean, to be honest, y'all, I don't understand how women can think that a man could just only have eyes for them. I'm not saying it's, it's, not, I'm not saying it's not possible, but it's just like as a man, it's in our nature. You feel me? The word polygyny. Polygyny. It's brothers that's out here really doing polygyny. What is polygyny? It's when a man has multiple wives, right? Nothing wrong with it. God, he was given instructions on what you're supposed to do if you have multiple wives, right? But it's just like, when it comes to that, you got to be on it. You got to be making sure you are providing for each wife that you have exactly the same. Right? You got to be showing them all the same affection, the same love. You can't treat the others better than the other one. You feel me? So that means you got to have your bread up. Got to have your bread up. And you got to be mentally right. You got to be, you know, able to handle a certain situation like that. But there's nothing wrong with it. You feel me? It's in a man's nature. So it's just like if you a man, you watching corn, you having struggles with it. Let me tell you something. The most I got 
he will forgive you if you repent. But you got to repent seriously. You got to try to repent. No, not try. You have to repent seriously. You have to go to God, man. You have to replace that corn. You got to stop watching it. Go to God so he can give you that strength to turn it away. Let me tell you something. See, Christ, he died for your sins. Most definitely. So it's a slap in the face to keep going back to that sin. That's a sin, right? It's a slap in the Messiah's face to go back to that sin over and over again. And I know it may not be easy, man. I know it may not be easy. But in the scriptures also, you can do all things through Christ. Through Christ, you can do everything, all things, right? And he the one who gives us that strength. He gives us that strength to overcome these obstacles, the strongholds, the sin. He was here. Remember how I told you? He died for our sins, which means he was here before. So he endured all of that. But the thing is, he beat it, man. He beat it. See, Jesus, he was perfect. He never committed sin. Never. And still died for hours. Man, got to be thankful for that, man. But it's just like he know exactly what you're going through. He's been there. You need to release the frustrations. You need to release that all to him so he can help you. He's the main helper. He's our main helper. He's our main healer. Also in the scriptures, it ain't nothing impossible when it come to God. He can do anything. So you better believe he can work with you on this. I know you've probably been doing it for a long time, but you can't get help. You can't keep, can't keep going back to it. Or it's going to be harder for you to get out. You know what I'm saying? It's a dangerous place to be in. Fellas, man. You keep watching that corn, you're messing with your mind. You're messing with your mind, man. Now you're not going to really be able to talk to females confident. They can sense that, you know. You lose your confidence when you keep watching that corn. And when you're doing it back to back, you're really forcing yourself. You're really forcing yourself to release your seed faster. You know what I'm saying? Because you're training your mind to do it that way. So it's like when you really get in bed... When you're really trying to get it in with a female, you're going to be done like this. Because you didn't waste all your energy. You keep wasting all your energy releasing your seed all day. So then the female going to be looking at you like, that's it? That's all you got, bro? What the heck was that? You know what I'm saying? There's nothing good that comes from watching the corn, fellas. And the females, man. Can't forget. Females struggle with this, too. But I'm a man, so, you know, men can relate more to what I'm saying. Right? Let me bring some more scriptures out, man. Can't be fornicating either. God doesn't want us fornicating. What does that mean? I mean, you can't just be out here getting it in with a bunch of different women, you know, having babies without you making them your wife. Also, in the scriptures, fellas, it tells us it's better for a man to have a wife. God wants it that way for a reason. So that it won't just be a bunch of orgies going on. Which is what's going on today. People just getting it in with each other. Back to back. That's why the HIV rate. That's going up. Up. That's going up. That's why it's better for a man. To have a wife. And the ladies. If you're still here. You need to stop. You can't keep opening your legs to any dude. You got to understand. Every single man you allow to get inside of you. All of what he has. Like. How his spirit is right he's releasing all of that into you mm -hmm. you're receiving all of that you need to just be supporting one man right one man one righteous man who follows the most high keeping christ first right supporting him and what he does you know taking care of things at the house It really depends, you know, on the relationship, but that's mainly, you know, what you're supposed to be doing, ladies. Fellas, man, you got to understand that it's better to be patient. You got to be patient. You can't keep going out there whoremongering. You know what I'm saying? If that's the word, well, you can't just keep going out there, y'all, just having sex with anybody. You need to be patient. You need to wait until you got the right one. You know what I'm saying? And don't just look at the looks, y'all. You understand, fellas? You can't just look at how they looking. You got to go deeper. What are they talking about? How is their mindset? You feel me? And then, you know, you take your time. You continue hanging with her, doing whatever it is. And then eventually, you know, 
You think about making her a wife, having kids, making a family. As again, I told you to tell us from scripture, be fruitful and multiply. Ask yourself this question, man. Why do you continuously watch the corn? Like, what are you getting out of it? It's time to be honest. What are you getting out of it besides that good feeling, you know? But that's just the thing. Satan, he wants people overall, not just with the corn. Satan wants people to receive those pleasures, the good feelings, looking good, sounding good. He wants you to keep doing it so that you can forget. You know what I'm saying? So that you forget and you start to slack off because you only in it for those pleasures in the moment. Those pleasures ain't going to be there forever. You know, once the pleasure is done, now what? But it's just like you just committed sin and you keep doing it. And I'm going to tell you in scripture, man, you keep committing sin no matter who you are. God, he's not going to hear your prayers. Nope. He's not going to hear you if you continue to be in sin. He's going to be laughing at you. That's in scripture too. He's going to laugh at you. When you ask and call him for help, he's going to laugh because you are in sin. A lot of people think they can prosper you know, get ahead, be successful, live a joyful life, life, but in sin. Doesn't matter, man. You can't be in sin and expect that. Most like God not going to hear you. That's why it's important, y'all. We got to stay out of sin and obey these commandments. But it's just like when it comes to that corn addiction, come on, man, fellas, you really need to be putting that time. Instead of doing that, you need to be putting that time and energy towards bettering yourself, man bettering yourself instead of doing that replace that get closer to God read your word go for a workout get out the house do it immediately you can't entertain it you know you keep entertaining it man it ain't gonna get no better and that means you really not trying hard enough you feel me I'm telling you you can do anything when it comes to God you just gotta put forth the effort and he got you you know what I'm saying Some of y'all probably feel bad. I've been there, man. Like you did it. You feel that conviction. And after you do it, you just be like, man, I keep failing you, God. I keep failing you. I keep doing it. What's wrong with me? Now you're beating yourself up. You know what I mean? God forgives you, though. God forgives you, man. You just got to you just gotta be real with it. He know what you're going through. You got to be honest with yourself and you got to be honest with God. Let them know you're really struggling with this. That you're really trying, but you can't fool God, though. He know what you're thinking. He know your heart. He know your intentions. He knows everything. You can't fool God. You might as well be honest. But you got to show him, man. You got to show him. That's how we love God, y'all. You know that? We love God by staying out of sin and obeying his commandments. Doing what he tells us to do in the word. And that right there. That's being disobedient big time. So many other things that you can be doing besides watching the corn all day, fellas. It's a lot of things that you can be doing. See, God, he got a purpose on your life, man. He ain't got you here for no reason. He got a purpose on your life. You need to be focused on trying to figure out what you can do to serve people as far as your purpose. What you can do as far as what gifts and talents that God gave you to serve people as far as your purpose, man. That's why we're here, to serve. And that is not doing you no justice, man. That's not getting you nowhere in life. But in that dark place where Satan wants you to be. And then I'm telling you, man, it's very important that we stop playing. Because, y'all, we don't know. We don't know when the Messiah coming back. Not even the Messiah knows, but he coming back. And when he coming back, man, it's going to be a division. He's going to divide the folks. He's going to bring the people who live righteously out of sin up to heaven with the Most High God for eternity. And you got the other people who live in unrighteously, live in wicked, still in sin, who is going to go to hell. It's going to be a division. He's coming with that sword. You feel me? On Christ's side, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You protected, you good. But it's just like, again, if you live in Christ's like, can't be in sin. 
you can't be breaking the commandments. Come on, y'all. This is very important. It's very necessary. A lot of people don't really talk like this on YouTube or on social media for real because most time people just want to tell y'all things that you want to hear. I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry. Can't do that all the time, man. Got to tell you what the truth is. I know a lot of people don't like to hear the truth, but it is what it is. You can't be mad at the person, at the messenger, speaking the word, spreading the gospels. You can't be mad at the person, but the thing is, man, they was mad at Christ. They hated Christ. So it was like, of course, you really doing that wholeheartedly? You're going to be hated too. But they're not, they not denying you though. You got to understand that. You start to make these changes, right? Keeping God first following Christ doing everything through him you start to really make those changes yes yes man people gonna start to look at you weird funny act differently but it all happened to Christ tell you in scripture they hated him so they gonna hate you too right but it ain't nothing that we losing out on with Christ we may lose people right we may have to make certain sacrifices put certain things down so that we can be obedient but I'm telling you man you're really going to be free. You're really going to be able to operate with that Holy Spirit instead of that flesh. If that's what you're doing, fellas, ladies, keep watching that corn. Come on, man. You want to do things to feed your Holy Spirit, not your flesh. That's why, again, how you feed your Holy Spirit? Read your word, man. Really get in that book. Understand what you're reading. Pray about what you're reading, y'all. It's necessary. Praying. Just praying to God. Talking to God every day. Fasting. You ever try fasting? Come on, y'all. Get, get out of your comfort zone. Try new things to really show that you love God, that you're really trying to be obedient. You came across this video for a reason. You still watching the corn? Come on, man. Don't ignore that conviction. Stop ignoring that. You're strong enough to do this. You got to believe in yourself, man. And you got to give everything to God so he can help you. That's why he's here. That's why he tells us. In the commandments, the first and the greatest commandment, depend on God, love God with your heart, your mind, and your soul. That's the greatest commandment, man. And then you love your neighbor. That's the second. Love your neighbor as you love yourself, right? And then it's like that real quick, that word love. Like, for example, it tells us to love our neighbor, right? We love our neighbor by doing acts of kindness. Helping those people that are in need, showing love. But let's say if I was to tell y'all, I love y'all. I love y'all, man. I would be lying to you. I don't know you. How can I say I love you? I don't know who you are. How can you say you love me? You don't know who I am. Just keeping it a hundred. You know what I'm saying? But we can show love, right? You can show love by smashing the like button, subscribing, sharing the video. You feel me? I'm showing love by trying to help people using my gifts and talents, you know, with these videos. That's what it's about. That's why we're here. But it's just like you're still watching the corn. You're wasting all your time, energy, watching the corn, getting in a darker place, opening so many doors because you're entertaining these spirits. You got to understand that even if you're behind that computer or your cell phone, whatever device, you're still entertaining certain spirits that you shouldn't be, you know? Come on, y'all. Today is the day. Make these changes. Show God that you really love him and that you're really trying to repent and make these changes, man. I know you may feel bad because you may keep you may be struggling and you keep doing it. So you just feel like, man, God don't love me. I ain't gonna never get out of this. You can't think like that. That's Satan. That's what he do. That's what Satan do. He play with your mind and he is able to play with your mind that much more easier when you're doing his work you feel me that's why it only makes sense that when you really start to follow christ you start to get attacked you know by certain people operating with demons certain things start to happen because then now you're doing something right you get it like you're doing something right but the devil ain't gonna mess with you if you're doing his business why why would he he ain't gotta mess with you he messed with those people who leave in his side on the other side coming to the light trying to be righteous christ-like that's when he get mad but he ain't got no power over you resist the devil he shall flee also in the scriptures we slice it and dice it you hear me? so what are you doing to resist what are you doing to resist the devil with this corn 
Come on, man. The devil know what he doing when it come to this. That's why he bringing things out, y'all. I know y'all notice it on social media. Everywhere you look, the ladies, they just showing it all, letting it all hang out. You get on Instagram, you scroll, every other, you know what I'm saying? Like you go on the explore page or if you're just going in the search, every other pic, you got a lady with really no clothes on. It's a setup, man. They know what they doing. Can't fall into the trap, y'all. Can't fall into that trap. Some of y'all may need to delete your social medias. Fellas, ladies, whoever's still here listening, delete them websites. Again, action. Gotta take action. You feel me? You may not like to hear these things, but you need to hear it. Because your soul is on the line. Think about that. Keep watching that corn, not caring. Ignoring the conviction. Soul is on the line. Every single day, y'all. The devil, he gonna tempt you. That's what he do. But you powerful enough. You got the most high God, you got the Messiah, who is the miracle worker on your side. And you got this word, which allows you to feed your Holy Spirit and give you so much comfort and strength. All of these tools you got. And you mean to tell me you can't overcome? That's a lie from Satan. Stop telling yourself that. Stop thinking like that. Maybe, thank you Holy Spirit. Some of y'all, probably hanging with certain people that is you know giving you that push or that is making it um uh, easier for you to fall into that temptation of watching the corn for example you may be hanging you may be hanging with fellas right who only like to go out all the time you know what i'm saying that's it that's all they like to do is just go out to the clubs go out to the bars you know what i'm saying chasing a bunch of women fellas we don't chase women all you do is you be about your business. Be about your business. Do what you gotta do. Stay focused on your purpose. The woman is gonna gradually come. They see you focused, confident, on your business. They gradually gonna come. Fellas, we don't chase women. You hear me, Kings? We don't do that. But like to what I was saying, some of y'all may be hanging, may be influenced by the wrong people. You know what I'm saying? Those, those fellas, those guys, they keep sending you those pictures that they see of the women they keep sending you videos of a bunch of different women come on man set some boundaries some of y'all probably need to set boundaries like hey man i'm trying to uh you got to be honest some of them may laugh at you it is what it is this is for you they may laugh they may leave because you want to make this change but god see it. he see what you're trying to do that's what matters it's about what god thinks of you not the people of others around you know what i'm saying because we're not here to please people we're here to please god you feel me we're not here to make people happy we're here to make God happy. And you're making God happy when you go out of your way to try to flee from sin. You feel me? Time to start making some changes, y'all. I don't know who I'm talking to today. I don't know what you need to do. I'm just trying to give you some, you know, advice that's coming to mind through the Holy Spirit. And some things that I've done to help me. Right? I had to, man. I, I started to delete my social medias really started to pray harder about it read my word more replacing replacing it y'all you have to replace these things you can replace it with something so much greater so much greater for your your spirit so much greater for your walk with the most high god and i'm telling you man you're gonna start to see the changes within yourself you're gonna start to see the changes the positive changes the good changes for your well-being as everything God tells us to do is for our protection. Everything he's telling us to stay away from is for our protection, y'all. He knows what's going on. Satan do too. You know Satan know the word as well. Yes. He flipped the scriptures. He, he tried to do everything that God do in reverse. You know what I'm saying? See, God told us to be fruitful and multiply the right way by men being married to wives. Not Satan's way. You see, Satan, he flipped that. He wanted a bunch of men and women just getting it in with whoever having orgies you know what i'm saying it's like that's not it it's not the way it's supposed to be and then it's just like that's why it's important for both parties you know both parties to be believers as it tells us don't be unequally yoked don't be unequally yoked with unbelievers you got to be living righteously so you can't be hanging with people who live in unrighteous living wicked do not be unequally yoked so it's just like if you got a man following the most high god you got a woman a godly woman both of y'all together 
having kids, now y'all can raise the kids, teaching them what to do, what not to do, teaching them, letting them read the word, you know, feeding their spirit early. So then now they can grow up, do the same as it, you know, it continues to be a chain reaction of people coming out into the world, knowing who Christ is, knowing how we should live. You feel me? Gotta stop watching the corn, y'all. It's a dark place. It's doing you no good. It's serving you none. It's serving you none at all. I'm trying to make sure I'm not leaving nothing out, you know? I'm really trying to just get everything out that I can to help y'all because, man, I know it's a lot of people struggling with this, man. It's a lot of people struggling with that addiction. But you don't have to be. You can really set yourself free, man, through Christ. That's who is going to do it for you. Don't rely on man. Also in Scripture, don't put your confidence, don't rely on man. Put all your confidence in the Lord. Right? Because like going back to the word, the, the semen retention, the semen retention, y'all being on semen retention for a long time, they didn't really go do you no much better because it's like you not releasing your seed for a long time, that's only going to get you that much more amped up. That's only going to get you to want to chase females that much more. You feel me? Because you're not having that pleasure. And we're men. We are men. It's normal. I feel like for real, for real, a lot of people only talk about semen retention on YouTube just because they already know it's a lot of guys dealing with that. So they know that that talking point brings a lot of people to the channel. So now they making that money. They making that bread. You feel me? A lot of people on social media, man, just fooling people, just manipulating people all for the money and attention. That's not it. It's not it at all. You got to tell the people what's real, man. You got to be honest. You got to be truthful. As that's what God wants us to do, man. You know that's a, you know that's breaking the commandment. Lying. That lying tongue. God does not like a lying tongue. No, sir. Bear a false witness. No, can't do that. None of that. So y'all feeling me, man. You strong enough to do this. Say it out loud right now, man. Sometimes you got to just say things out loud. I can overcome this corn addiction. Talk it, man. Speak it, man. I can overcome this corn addiction. Speak it into existence. Try your best. For you got God on your side, man. Helping you in everything. and everything that you do, man. It ain't worth it. It's really not worth it. Y'all still here? Come on, man. Videos like this, people struggling, man. People need to hear it. If it's on your spirit, share this video. Please smash the like button as it allows the video to spread. And subscribe to Cardo TV, man. We get to the end over here. We slice and dice. We try to be that light. We try to help each other, y'all. We try to keep it real over here, man. That's what it's about. Now, before I go, part of the outro, some of y'all some of y'all know already, but I like to give my subscribers an opportunity to say something out loud. I'm talking about that opportunity, receiving the real victory in life, the real victory, which is ending up in eternity with the most high God. What we talked about today, staying out of sin, staying out of sin, getting out of that corn, right? This life is a test based off of how we live it. We either going up there, which is the victory, or we going down the hill with Satan. I wish that on nobody. You feel me? Nobody. So not to force you to say these things, but this is an opportunity and the time is now. Repeat after me. I believe Jesus is the son of God. I believe he died for my sins. I believe he rose from the grave and is now in heaven with our heavenly father. And I want him to be Lord of my life. If you said those words, that's a start. That's a start right there. I need you to stay in there. 
Stay in there. Keep that same energy. You have to. You must. You see, Satan, he heard that. He don't like what you just said. Because now you're leaving a dark side coming over to the light. Let me tell you something. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Nothing to fear because God didn't give you that spirit. He gave you a spirit of a power, love, and sound mind. Not fear. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Just depend on God. The best of commandment. The best commandment. Depend on God. Love God with your heart, mind, and your soul. You straight. Moving forward also. Continue to slice and dice. Right? With the scriptures. You feeding what? Your Holy Spirit. We talked about that too, man. Feed your Holy Spirit. I like to say this all the time, man. We want the Holy Spirit to overflow. It keeps us in alignment with God's will the best way. You feel me? So I'm, I'm so proud of you, man. Say this out loud too. I'm going to get the victory. Come on. Say it again. I'm going to be victorious. Yes, sir. Indeed. Keep that energy, man. You got this. Now, part of the outro as well. Slice and dice gang. Three more things I'd like to leave y'all with before I go. So everybody, please bring it on in. I said, uh, oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna need y'all to have a nice, you know what I'm saying? I'm also oh 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 need y'all to have a blessed. You know what I'm saying? But as far as your blessings, though, have you asked God? I do this every day. Ask God to indeed bless you with all of the blessings that He got for you today. Go for it. Waiting on. He wants you to receive. Cardo do. I really do. It's only right. You want to receive your blessings. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I got just one more thing for you. And that's to have a B E A. Beautiful day. Yes, sir. Indeed, you feel me? I sure hope so. Slice and dice gang, please. Let's continue. To do everything in our power, slicing and dicing, of course, with the scriptures. You know how we get now. Also, praying for each other. Don't just pray for yourself. Pray for your brothers and your sisters out here, man. Prayer works. And of course, let's keep doing what we got to do. Bringing more people to the kingdom. I'm out of here.